Today I'm going to do a highlighting and contouring tutorial um, for more of like an everyday kind of look. Um, I only have foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, mascara, I know only, right? Um, and eyebrows on, but no eyeshadow or anything, just kind of like a everyday, just want to cover up my skin and make it look good. Um, type of look. So if you'd like to learn how I do the highlighting and contouring portion of this look, then just keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so we're going to do our highlighting and contouring routine. This is just kind of an everyday type of routine for me if I'm throwing on some makeup, whether it's with or without eyeshadow. Um, today I just threw on some foundation first and my eyebrows and uh, some mascara. Um, but from here, you just kind of continue on with the concealer, bronzer, blush, and then a glowy highlighter if you'd like to. And then we'll finish it off with a finishing spray. So um, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is the highlighting portion. Um, you want to highlight the middle of your face, basically anywhere where the light is going to naturally hit your face. Um, and this, for this, we're going to use a concealer. I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way um, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and it is in Light Beige. Um, this is a really good concealer. It's really thick, but it still doesn't feel too heavy when you have it on your skin. It wears really well. Um, so the way that I do this is I'm going to make a triangle underneath my eyes and just kind of fan it out and fill it in from there and I want to make sure I go all the way up to the corner bring it up on the sides of the nose too because that'll help later when we contour our nose and do the same thing on the other side and then we are going to go and do the forehead um, and you can do whatever design you want, but just put a little bit on the forehead, bring it all the way down the nose, straight as you can. And then the cupid's bow or upper lip area, and a little bit on the chin. And you can also just cover up any other blemishes at this point too, because why not? And um, for this part, I always use a beauty sponge. It's a damp beauty sponge, so it gets a little bigger and softer once you um, run it under water and then squeeze all the excess water into a towel. And you're just going to pounce this into the skin. And you really want to make sure you blend um, out that concealer underneath the eyes so we don't have any lines and creases and I'm not wiping or swiping I'm really just like pressing this into the skin and then we'll blend out the forehead Okay, so once you have that all blended, really important step is to set your concealer. Um, you want to set it with really any kind of powder. I always use some sort of actual setting powder. Um, and so the one that I've been using is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've used this in a couple of my blog posts. Um, and it's the Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is in shade number two. Um, but this just gives your concealer a little bit better wear time, helps you from getting too oily because typically you're going to be putting that concealer in your T-zone, which is where a lot of people get the most oil throughout the day. So this is just going to help to set it and keep from um, any breaking up of the makeup in those areas. Okay, 
And that's the highlighting part with concealer. Um, next up is my favorite part. It is the contouring part. So for this, you want to get a bronzer that is not too orange in color. It's going to be more of like a grayish brown. Um, and so I always use Hoola bronzer for this, um, unless I'm super, super tan in the summer. Um, there's another one that I go to. But so you can kind of see it's like a, it looks really light, but it actually goes down pretty dark. Um, but this is a really good one for a lot of different skin tones and um, you want to get one that casts a shadow like color. So that's why we don't want to get one that's super orange that you would, you know, put is a bronze, more of a bronzer. Um, just because it's not going to be as natural looking. Because this is really natural looking. But um, I'm going to use a brush like this. This is the uh, Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH04. It's kind of angled, kind of thin, um, but it's going to be perfect for um, contouring our cheeks. And so what I always tell people when they're first starting out with contouring um, in the cheek area is to suck in your cheeks, like make a fish face. And that's going to give you that natural kind of indent to follow. And always start back, all the way back at the hairline. And you're going to work your way down, um, not too far down unless you really want to look very structured, um, but you're just going to start at the hairline and work your way down. I think maybe to like the middle of the cheeks. And you want to be sure not to blend down because we want to keep this part light. You could blend it up because we're going to end up putting some blush on there anyway, but you kind of just want to place it right there. And again, we're just kind of casting a shadow to kind of suck in those cheeks, really accentuate your bone structure. Okay, and so that's the cheeks. Um, we will go back and kind of blend everything out, but um, for now, that's kind of like the lines that you want to follow. Um, next, I am going to um, contour the forehead. And so really you're just kind of following the hairline um, and just going across the forehead, down to the temples. Again, just kind of casting a shadow so that we're kind of illuminating that center of the face and kind of thinning out the face a little bit, if you will. So, just along the hairline, across the forehead, down the temples. Okay, and um, next I'm going to contour just the jawline. So again, Casting that shadow, framing our face. And this one you can blend down. You always want to blend down into the neck. You definitely don't want like a harsh line of bronzer going across your chin. That's not going to be cute. So blending this in. But again, keeping this area kind of clear because it's just going to give that effect that we want in the end. And we'll go back and kind of clean up the lines too. Okay, so next is going to be the nose. Now sometimes I will use a um, more detailing brush for this, but you, I'm just going to show you using the same brush. I'm just going to squeeze it so that it becomes a little bit more narrow and I'm going to use the same um, Hula bronzer and I'm going to um, basically just kind of shape my nose the way I want it to be and this could be different for everybody it depends on your nose shape and kind of what you want to accentuate and what you want to kind of hide for me I try to just kind of straighten it but I also kind of like the the shape of my nose if you will um, I like some things about it and I don't like other things about it. So what I'm going to do is just my technique of trying to 
accentuate what I do like, but then kind of fix what I don't. So for me, what I'm fixing mostly is the tip of the nose. I want to try to make it look thinner. So kind of accentuating that like odd shape at the bridge of my nose because I kind of like it. it. Gives me a little character. But then when I get to the bottom, I'm really just kind of going straight down and then around the tip of the nose to kind of make it appear smaller and more narrow. And again, you can use a more detailed brush to do this and it will give you a little bit more structure, but just because this is kind of like an everyday kind of look for me, I don't always have the time to really focus on it. And the last thing you do is just kind of go across the top. So it's almost kind of like turning your nose up a little bit. Not in a bad way. So it just kind of like gives a little bit more dimension to your face. It doesn't look so flat with just having foundation on your nose. Just kind of defines everything a little bit. And like I said, shapes um, your nose the way you'd prefer it. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go in and blend a little bit with my sponge. We're not ruining anything because it's really not wet. Um, Cause since we just use powder, normally you don't wanna like mix damp with powder, but it's fine for that. And so that is the contouring portion. So nothing too drastic, but it's again, just kind of thinning out our face, casting some shadows where we want them to go. Um, next, I'm gonna just throw on some blush and I'm gonna use um, Melba by MAC. And I always put blush more on like the outer parts of my cheeks. Some people prefer it more on the apples. It's kind of up to you and what you like. So it's not like a super bright blush or anything for me. It kind of like blends in with my skin tone a little bit, but it still just gives like a little bit of a flush color. Again, so it's not so flat. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of glow. Um, I have this, um, the Perfect Light Highlighting Palette by Cover FX, and it comes with cream um, highlights on top and then the powder ones on the bottom. I typically don't use a cream highlight. That's just me unless it's like a really like intense day. Like we were going all out full face everything. Um, but for every day I'm just going to gravitate towards this number four one. It's more of like a um, bronzish highlight as opposed to more of like a vanilla one like that one. And I'm going to put this on my cheekbones. Okay, and um, the last step, I always save my bottom mascara for very last. First, I'm going to actually put my setting spray on. Um, this is like a sample size of this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, I like this a lot. I don't know that I'd ever pay for the full price, the full size bottle, but um, it smells really good and it does the job. It kind of gives like more of a glow um, if that's what you're looking for. So this just helps to kind of set everything down. And once that dries a little bit better, I go in on my bottom lash um, mascara. I always do this last so that it doesn't get messed up. I'm looking in different directions. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this highlight and contour tutorial. Um, check out the blog posts and my other blog posts at lifeofaboymom.weebly.com. And uh, let me know any other makeup or beauty tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. 
Um, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.